So, hello, welcome um, to my review of the Vax One Power Cordless Glide. I'm doing this review because prior to buying this, I um, couldn't really find any reviews on YouTube for this product. So, I bit the bullet, I bought it, I've used it, and I think it's now time to review it. Don't need to do all the unboxing, it's a hoover at the end of the day. You open it, you throw the box away. What it does come with is on the left is a battery, the hoover itself uh, and the cleaning station which I will talk about uh, later on. But I'll just run through now some um, parts to this hoover um, and then I'll do a, a clean of the floor and I'll show you how good it is at picking dog hair up. If you've got a dog, get one of these. We've got a pug. It's not supposed to be a hairy dog. It's not supposed to molt, but it does. I've got a shark cordless hoover with the same brush roller on the front of it. That seems to pick it up, but I can go over this straight afterwards and this just picks up even more dog hair that the naked eye doesn't seem to be able to find. So I'll just quickly um, guide you through it and then we'll take it for a spin and then I'll show you how much it picks up at the end. So we've got, let's say the Vax One Power glide it comes with a handle the handle slots into there and it's done there's the battery battery comes with it on the battery is a button you press that button and as the minute you can see it's fully charged the battery opens this compartment and it drops into there it doesn't look like you have an app named Cisco apartment no, if that's... you'd like I can help you look for it on the app store that's my watch going off, apologies for that, but it slots in there. So that's my watch, it picks up when I'm saying stuff. So there you go, it just slots in there and that's it. On the front of this is, uh, you push that down, open it up, there's your glide and there's your roller. The roller just simply snaps back in there this simply just clicks back in there that's your hoover there's the cleaning station and I'll show you how that works later on but all you do is that slots into there you switch it on and it cleans it in the back is the um, water tank the clean water tank so that's where you put your clean water and in the front is where the dirty water goes so if we do this now so this just unscrews let's get rid of that um, so I can show you how it works so on the front of this we've got if you're doing a small area and then you add 250ml solution to that level if you're doing large area you add your water to there and then you add another 250ml to do the large area. Now when I'm saying 250ml, that's 250ml of this stuff by Vax1 Power System Multifloor Solution. Um, that kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria. This for one litre only allows you to do four fill ups of that. That is £9.99, so 10 quid for that. However, this stuff is exactly the same, kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria, and that is a quid in Wilkie's. So you've got both products, obviously, that's a gimmick my vax buy it we can only use that in this machine no you can't it's just a clear water machine 
there's no additional filters where the cleaning solution could damage the machine they are both exactly the same so go to Wilkie's get one of them for a quid you only need a cap full of this so not even 250 mil that'll last ages that'll last four goals the simple way of doing this is crack open the top as per the guidance is you stick a cap full you stick a cap full in there you put cold water in it and you go up to solution level because that's the water and solution now so there you go screw the top on give it a bit of a shake this top by the way they do leak slightly but I think that's because of this thing at the top here that obviously gets pushed down so don't think it's um, damaged it's just so it's supposed to be that water now as you saw the air bubble that water is now um, feeding the system so that's your water in there the rooms are clean downstairs is the living room which is roughly 18 square meters uh, without any furniture you've got the hallway which is three square meters and you've got the kitchen diner which is another maybe 12 15 square meters so you've got roughly 30 square meters um, but obviously less than that because you're not doing underneath the furniture at this stage you're just going round it as you can see I did the floors yesterday the floors are clean um, but I'm gonna run over it with this because it's this thing here you're not even supposed to be airy you are you but you are aren't you so let's see how airy you are she'll probably chase it that's what she usually does so let's start by so the way I work it is you switch it on here then there's two mode settings so you've got um, eco mode and high mode and it comes up on a screen here eco mode is all that I need for this floor if you've got a really really deep stain maybe you've you've walked in off a farm or something I don't know if you live on a farm and you've got really muddy shoes then first of all I mean I'd be asking why you've come in the flipping house with muddy shoes on but there you go um, so that would be for high power I guess the rest of it is just eco mode it just runs at a slightly slower speed not massively slower just a slightly slower speed and then on here there's a little trigger and that trigger you push in like that when you're going forward so you push the hoover forward you pull the trigger that releases the water into these rollers and then the roller makes the roller wet that roller then transfers that water onto the floor you lift the trigger when you're pulling back and then it sucks that water up if you go over it three or four times it dries it further for me I just go forward once with the trigger pulled and then I release the trigger and pull it back and that's enough water on the floor for me that's, a, that's acceptable and it makes it look like a a mopped floor so I'll show it you in operation now by doing the hall living room and kitchen diner so you basically pull it back switch it on comes up as high mode there you go just slightly small so now I'm gonna pull the trigger and then there is Pull the trigger and release. And that goes across the whole floor now. That's the hallway
pull the trigger going forward and then release it coming back which is simple as that Just while we're here, I'll just kind of give you. I'm not going to do a lot of it, but I'll just kind of give you the cleaning capability of it. I'll just squirt a little bit of tomato sauce on the floor there just to show you that it will. You know, I know it's wet, I know it's uh, gonna, you know, even a hoover would suck this up, wouldn't it? But if I try and just rub it in a little bit. Um, you can kind of just see how that works. There we go, one pass on eco mode, took it out. So that's pretty much it, so as you can see it does leave like a mopped look on the floor, obviously you can go over that um, a little bit more if that's what you wanted to do to make it drier, um, but for me on a laminated floor um, you know it gives it that kind of clean look, obviously the floor in here is a, a vinyl floor and again it just gives it that mopped look really and it smells quite nice it smells of um, lemon and lemon and lime it smells of lemon and lime that one when I used that one I couldn't smell anything on that gimmick so there's the floor and I say this floor is 10 years old um, so it's not going to pick up you know marks that are in the floor um, so like here where the uh, knife has fell onto the floor it's not going to pick them up obviously because it wouldn't be a hoover then would it you know but that's pretty much the whole process that usually takes now about five minutes, five ten minutes to dry. If I would have gone over that a little bit more, it would have dried it more. It would have sucked more of it up. Um, so it's again dependent on you, on how wet you want it to look. So that took roughly, I don't know, fourteen, fifteen minutes. Uh, maybe, maybe seven or eight minutes of that was hoovering. So the battery is still on four. So you know that you're gonna get at least maybe another five or six goes before you need to charge that up. Now it comes with a charging unit. So my charging unit is up here. And you just basically plug it into that 
up there. Um, this is obviously the wife's crocheting that she does. So it's hidden behind there. Um, as for the amount of liquid I used, so we've got up here now, we've used maybe a quarter of a tank. So we've got all that remaining, we've used a quarter of a tank. Um, so again, for that one capful, um, you get maybe four goals, three goals on that before you need to top that up again. With this one, is you'd probably get two goals out of it before you need to top it up again. So, you know, so that's eight, eight hoovers, buy a new one of them. Um, I don't know, 100 hoovers out of that before you need to buy a new one of them. But anyway, that's that done. Now it's the cleaning stage, which you will have to do with this. The cleaning stage is, this is your dirty water now. And you press this button here and it pops out like that. So that's how much water it's sucked back up today. So it's not, I've not used a lot of water in it. That's how much it's sucked back up. There's the maximum level before it, before that um, siphon pushes up and it tells you it's full and is that like a high pitched noise um, and obviously that's when you need to empty depending on how big your house is um, you know if you're one of these that's got a massive house you've probably got a cleaner so you probably won't even be watching this anyway um, but for the standard bog standard person then that's done a living room a kitchen and a lounge without the need to empty it but simple as now you just basically take that filter off that's a washable filter um, I've not washed it yet I've had it about three weeks four weeks not washed it yet um, and then this here just pops off as simple as that and then this is now the dog look at all that hair and you saw the floor before it wasn't really visible to the naked eye this stuff but this is what this this is what this hoover has picked up. Now cleaning of this now is as simple as just running it under the tap. Just running that under the tap like that. And just leave that on there. And then this part here just sucks away and you just kind of give it a rinse and that goes in there all the hair has gone down that plug so yeah my next video will probably be unplugging a sink usually it's thicker um, that I can just kind of pull it out with my hand but it's not done that uh, the next stage for this would be just to have a look in there and just there's a bit of air that's just got caught in the where the uh, suction goes so get rid of that and then the next bit is pop this off and then there's a bit of hair in there and again just run that through water and then this just pops off that is still quite clean that you know um, but you can if you want to do it just run it under there as simple as that and just run your hand down it just to squeeze that excess water off it this is the way I find cleaning something is better than using the attachment that's come with it. But anyway, there you go. And then last but not least is just stick your fingers under there. Because it just seems to catch a little bit more on that bit. And then you're left with that. So that just by doing a seven minute run of it. 
from yesterday. I did this around about the same time yesterday, so it's been 24 hours, um, and that's how much dog hair from a pug. Now, if you've got an Alsatian um, or a Labrador or one of these hairy ones, really hairy ones, then I'll probably just probably just live outside in the woods or something because it would drive me absolutely potty but anyway your choice and that just slots back in there that just slots back in there and then this just simply just goes in there and you just push it there you go now I've had to do all this one handed because I've got this camcorder on me so you can see how easy it is this is the cleaning station if you want to do it this way instead you basically just put that on the floor that just slots in there yep and then what this does now is that roller is higher so you're now able to press the trigger clean the roller and it sucks the water in so I'll show you how to do that it is, you just release it so that the roller can spin press it so it's on high mode probably better pull the trigger and now that's clean So that's as simple as that that's all I've done is did that press this trigger just kept pressing it like this one two three four as many times as you felt that you needed in order to clean that brush so the brush was spinning it was releasing detergent onto the brush the brush was then spinning like a spin cycle on a washing machine throwing that water back off it and it was sucking it back up so that's it so if we now take this back out of here let's see if it's picked up any more dirt so you've seen that I've cleaned it with my hand again that just pops off it is there's no dog hair in there this time it is you know cleaner there's a little bit there um, and then you've got a little bit more dog hair again that's picked up from whatever was still remaining in the system and then you've got that's what it's picked up just by and there's some in there as well so just by me hand cleaning it and then cleaning it again via the cleaning station has give it pretty much the double go so it's up to you how you do it me I prefer to do it by hand, I can see it, I can get rid of it, so this time it has clipped it all up into the sink, which is better, because this way now, I can just get hold of it, you know, and that's just from the additional clean, I mean how much from yesterday, how much, how much is on the flipping floors that you don't know? I'll buy this thing here. Look at you. This is yours. Do you want it back? Hey? Do you want it back? Do you want that back? What is it? Hey? Yeah. Yeah, they're just shaped, aren't you? And that means you've just shaped now. You probably shaped a load of this off. But anyway the dogs um, and then that's it that, that's the whole that's the whole uh, video done um, would I buy one watching that I'll just put this back actually would I buy one watching that 
yeah that's why I've, that's why I've done it for people who are looking at buying one um, it's great for doing hard floors it's only designed for hard floors it's not designed for anything else I've got hard floors downstairs I've got a cordless hoover by Shark which seemingly picks up dirt but it doesn't doesn't wash the floor at the same time it certainly doesn't pick up all that flipping dog air um, but yeah I would you know I would buy one again uh, 249.99 it was um, battery life so far seems really good on it I mean just by doing that clean on it afterwards you know it's still at four so uh, the battery life seems really good on it it's relatively light as you could see it was all done one handed you know there's no real technicalities about it other than you just open a couple of things up clean it put it back you press a trigger on the back when you're going forward that releases the water into the roller at the front it's the roller what gets wet so it doesn't spray it onto the floor it sprays it onto the roller the roller then puts that onto the floor in like a rollered um, unique way you know so it's all um, symmetric if that makes sense rather than it just being sprayed and it's two sprays moving forward and then the roller picks that up this actually wets the roller and the roller wets the floor and then on the return of the hoover that sucks up that water and now apparently my floor is 99.9% .9 free of bacteria um, I wouldn't like to eat off it I wouldn't like to eat off any floor if I'm honest with you um, but that's what that's what the makers say so as you can see now after you know 30 minutes it's now completely dry completely dry completely shiny um, and it's done so yeah if you are thinking of getting one if you've got a dog definitely get one if you've got a really really hairy dog probably don't because it'll probably clog it up too much and damage it if you've not got a dog and you've just got hard floors then just use a mop you know that's all you need really it's more for you know items that you probably can't see which is small hair I guess stuff like that if you're a flaky person where your skin's falling off then probably get one um, it's your choice you know and this review hopefully will allow you to make that choice so yeah glad you enjoyed it i hope you enjoyed it and uh, thank you very much bye bye